Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> How are we? Well, I hope. Yeah, that bridge collapse is absolutely, absolutely brutal. What's the story? Ay, ay, ay. P. Diddy's house was raided, was it? Damn. Damn. God damn. Thank you, General Joe and Souffle for the uh, for the follows whilst we were offline. Appreciate it. Botrix is in here, is he? Get out! Get out! Not no more. He gone. I don't know, I don't know why it's a he. It's a bot, but. What is the story about the Maurier? All right, so the plan for today is to record the first episode of the third season of Leeds United. And then I'm going to attempt to try and do ice art, to do some eye racing. And you're going to laugh at me because I'm really fucking bad at it. Yeah? Good. It's so blatantly obvious that the only thing that I've ever driven with a wheel is a Formula One game with a shit ton of aero and a shit ton of grip. Caught the replay of the live yesterday. Cunha, as in Mateus Cunha. Sheza. Presumably. It's not really a winger. See anything? He's good. I'm not gonna. I can't deny that he's good. That he's not good. And to be fair, he's of a rating that would mean that he'd probably be open to being back up to Peru. But we shall wait and see. I'm pretty set on the on the left back. The centre back and the cam. I do want to check actually what um what Eitner is potentially. So his potential is 80, so he has actually already peaked in this save at 24. So that might make the left back decision a bit a bit more awkward. Or a bit less obvious. Ben White for centre back is the is the go-to for sure. Bring Ben White back to the club. Then the left back decision is, is, a, is an intriguing one. At the minute, I only have Ike Nuri on the shortlist. So what I might do is bring in the centre back and the centre mid. Oh, 
Oh, Homeland Security did an investigation in did it in an investigation. Oh, Christ alive, that is intense. Kieran Tierney, we did look at, and I could just double check his potential at the moment to see to see what. Uh, so he's currently eighty-two, and his potential is eighty-two. So Tierney, Tierney absolutely could be one we could look at. So I'll get I'll get Tierney in. Oh, he's already on my shortlist, apparently. Okay. Why was they not on a list in here, Dan? Oh, because of all the... Yeah, okay. So I've got Tierney and I've got Ait Nuri. There's Parisi, who's currently 82, with potential of 86 at Fiorentina. That's doable. We had a Parisi. Mitchell's at Everton. He's not that grey. Estupinian, I would want to use someone fresh, I think. Kikache's not as good, unfortunately, as he used to be. And Rico Henry's just a bit meh. Kirkes has just moved to Liverpool in the save. Yeah, he should have been here yesterday, Cole. As Ad says... Marcus Edwards, not left back. <laughs> is it, how do you spell it? Mayor. Where was it? Mayor. Bjorn Mayer, isn't it? Bjorn Mayer. 78 rated, 84 potential. Not for me. Miguel Gutierrez. Eighty two with eighty four potential at Girona. Could be a shout. Only twenty three. Whoo, quick boy. I like that idea. 31 million valuation, release clause of 40. Okay, we'll f that'll do for left backs. We'll float we'll float those as ideas at left backs. Uh, I'm going to sign a centre back and we're going to sign a centre mid and then we'll leave the striker, the winger and the left back open to the YouTube comments section. Effectively, is what the situation is going to be. Kerkes has already moved in this save. Seb. Ah, Tommy Asu's not a left back though, is he? He's more of a centre back. Not even that strong a full back. I'm not sure where Martin is in this save, actually. Ian Martin is at Everton and isn't great. Tommy Asu to me looks more like a centre back. Not that fast, not great agility or balance. Tall, strong, good jumping, great defensive awareness and heading accuracy and tackling. He's definitely a centre back, statistically. Attribute wise. He could be an idea for centre back, certainly, but. A centre back, I'm going to go for Ben White, so. Hey, Jordan. Maxime de Kuiper. Maxime de Kuiper, 78 rated at Bruges. Well rounded, certainly, but doesn't really excel anywhere technically other than his crossing, actually. Could be one for the Cambridge save. There's so many that were like, oh, it could be one for the Cambridge save. <laughs> Can have a squad of fucking 150 in the Cambridge save, aren't I? At this rate.
Patrick Dorgu. That is a name I have never heard before. 71 rated. He's quick. I think that's about where it stops. I don't know whether I'm going to use shirt mods, Shezza, for the Cambridge save. I really don't know. I might do. I might not. Uh, Ridvan Burke, Ridvan Yilmaz is 78. Again, not not great. Stefan Bejtetic isn't going to be good enough. 76 at Leon. It's just no. We have 117 million. And I currently have Dan James transfer listed, Gruev transfer listed, Bait and Perkins. So we could raise another 5, 15, another 25-ish. So it's not going to be easy, it's not going to be cheap. But there are options. Ake's not at City, I don't think, in this save. There you go, Liverpool completes uh, Kirko signing. I think Ake's moved in this save now. Yeah, Brighton for Nathan Ake. There or thereabouts, Ben, yeah, probably. By the time you factor in the wages we'd save as well. Destiny's at Liverpool, Seb. He's already moved from Spurs. And it's not really a, not really a move that uh, they would... That I could kind of justify it at this stage. Let me have a look at the comments. I did have it up. I've closed it again. Just to get some names. What is Matteo Joseph's potential? Seventy nine, yeah, he's just just not good enough. I don't think. thingy and put some new names in. Uh, to Josh, let's do you and then let's do Colts fan. updating the names and then we can record that first episode which is going to be Friday's video I believe uh, we're going to replace Roden in the starting lineup Strap will remain captain and first team going to replace Roden in the lineup going to place Wagner it's my intention to replace Jack Clark, although maybe Jack Clark stays as the first team because he's probably got decent potential now, doesn't he? His potential's probably taken a, a hike. Oh, Jack Clark. His potential is now 84, so he'll probably grow to that this season. So Jack Clark will probably stay starting. But whoever comes in will uh, will certainly go onto the onto the bench ahead of uh, Dan James. Let's get Cresswell back into the fold up here. Cresswell for Davies. Joe Gomez is first team at Liverpool. Yeah, I wouldn't want to sell Peru though or Somerville. 
or Rutea or Ampadu. I just I don't want to sell them, so I'm not going to. Kulisevsky would be excellent, but I don't know whether Kulisevsky is doable at this stage. Spurs are in the Champions League. They finished above us considerably. Uh, the menu I'm bringing up, as 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 says, is the uh, is the live editor. Yeah. Jimmy Ro uh, Ronnie Bargy, cheap. Uh, where are you, Rooney, Rooney Bargy? Uh, 77 currently, 85 potential. Might be shout for a lesser option. Still only 19. Just, just, just not sure he's. I might as well just keep Dan James. Like, I want a step up. That's not. That's not necessarily at this stage a step up. Unfortunately, it's not quite what I'm looking for. Right, let's hit record. I did use Mujic quite a bit at Chelsea, yeah. Levy Garcia, the Irish winger from Luton. Who's the Irish winger from Luton? My brain, um, his name is on the tip of my tongue. Is it Levy Garcia or is it Levi Garcia? Alfie Doherty, that's there you go. My brain just, my brain just got it. <laughs> Levi Garcia, 80 rated at Ath AK Athens. 80, sorry, 95 jumping. Sweet Lord, sir. He does look like a bit of a brute, to be fair. But again, technically, oh, there are just better options. Yeah, if Barca sign a better winger, then Rafinha could could be an option. Is he still on the shortlist, Rafinha? Did I? Yeah, he's there. Right. Right. <laughs> Here we go again, season three of the Leeds United career mode. It's summer transfer window time. We have quite the shopping list to look for in this episode and the next one tomorrow with your feedback in the comments section. I'm looking for one, two, three, four, five new players at this stage. A couple I'm going to buy today because I'm definitively sure I definitely want these individuals. The rest we're going to put to you guys in the comments section to either pick who I've already got on my shortlist, or add someone else to the shortlist. And then, of course, as ever, leave your comments in the comment section. Thumbs up those that you agree with as well. And organically, the most popular options will rise to the top. Thank you for your continued support on this Leeds United save. This is our second season at Premier League level and our third season total. Uh, spoilers coming for last year. We did finish in a European spot. We ended up sixth last year. So we will be in the Europa League this season. We're looking to move some players on. We're looking to upgrade the starting line up and hopefully we'll be able to improve enough to challenge for top four this season. You do, as ever, always have to suspend your disbelief when it comes to FC slash FIFA. I get that it is unrealistic for a side to come up from the championship, immediately challenge for Europe and then immediately challenge for top four in the second season in that competition. That's just the way that FC and FIFA works. It's not realistic. We know this. We came up from the championship with a side that was already ratings-wise of quality to challenge for Europe. That's what we did. And they're only going to get better still from here. I'm not going to artificially rein myself back in this save just for the sake of realism. I want to enjoy playing. I want to enjoy the grind. I want to get ourselves as many trophies as we possibly can. So... We are going to push on and aim for top four this year. The title absolutely isn't on the cards. We know that. Manchester City is still steps above us. But certainly, that 11 as it stands could challenge for 
a top four position if we're able to improve in a couple of key defensive positions. Because imagine everybody in that lineup over the course of this season jumps two or three ratings. And all of a sudden, that's a Champions League potentially semi-final side, let alone challenging for just the top four. We're going to look to improve at centre-back. Joe Roden will be dropped to the bench. Wagner will be dropped to the bench as well. We're looking for first-team centre-backs and first-team left-backs. We're looking for a better central midfield option off the bench as well. We're also looking for a winger, either to start ahead of Clark or to dovetail with Clark. He has potential of 84 as it stands right now and can significantly grow from where he is right now. And I'm also looking for another striker, a backup to Joel Peru. We have a number of names on the shortlist already. I'm going to sign the centre-back today. I'm going to sign the centre-mid today. But what I am looking for from you guys is A, feedback on my shortlist for left-back, striker and winger, and also any extra names you might want to throw into the mix. So hold fire for the time being, because there are some players that have moved already in this save that you might not yet be aware of. So I want to update you with regards to that, because Kirkes was an option from the live chat, but he's moved to Liverpool already in this save. Our objectives for this season are as follows. Youth development is set to medium. We've already failed the short-term one, apparently. And the long-term one, I don't think that's going to happen. Brand exposed to 10 games without defeat. That's all competitions. Absolutely doable. And uh, get... Hank, that doesn't make sense. Get 10 games without defeat. So just win or draw 10 games. What team doesn't do that in a season? Sign two players of the same nationality of the club. That might sway it. However, my centre-back and centre-mid signings are both English. So that's that one done. Financially, we'll do that. Domestic success, they want a Europa League spot and a semi-final of the FA Cup. Because we got to the final of the FA Cup, we just bloody lost it. And of course, Conference League. I was pretty certain that we were in the Europa League. We are not evidently in the Europa League. Oh, Leeds United are in the Conference League. All right. Bagger. Thought we were in a better competition in Europe than that. Fair enough. So, they want me to win that in my first season in Europe. So, you're interested in saying, what players do I want to sign and what players have I got on my shortlist? We may well be in the Conference League because of other teams winning other trophies, etc. So, we'll wait and see how things progress in Europe. We certainly are anticipating being in the Champions League next year if possible. If not, then taking a step at a time. Conference League, Europa League, Champions League. My centre-back signing is going to be Ben White. He's second choice at Borussia Dortmund, doesn't play and has history at Leeds United, of course, with his loan spell in the Championship IRL. The first time Leeds came back to the Premier League. I'm going to sign him. He's going to be my guy. That's that decision done. Centre-back sorted. I do have backups in case we're not able to get him for whatever reason. Medina would be my go-to. We also have uh, Lukeba and Shutalo, as well as Singo, Gehi and Konza. I've got a number of options, but Ben White is my preferred. Now then, the left-back role is open to you. Initially, I thought Aitnuri's the guy, but he's peaked at 80 rated in this save. Obviously, dynamic potential could kick in, but that won't happen till next season. And I'm kind of wanting to make the improvement now. So Kieran Tierney, Fabiano Parisi and Gutierrez, Miguel Gutierrez are my go-to options now at left back. But which of those do you like? Do you think there's someone else that you'd rather I signed in that position? Gutierrez is 82, potential 84. Parisi 82, potential 86. Chiarantini is peaked at 82, but obviously 82 is still a significant step up from the 78 Kai Wagner we currently have. So the decision is yours. Then with regards to central midfield position, where I'm looking to improve with more of a backup role that can grow to allow Ampadu to continue to flourish and of course Archie Gray to continue to flourish as well. I have Sangare as a much higher rated option. Forest have been relegated in this save, of course. But I am contemplating or I am factoring in financials here as well. Because, of course, we only have a, limit, a limited budget of about 120 million at the moment. Which sounds like a silly thing to say. But when you've got five signings you want to make, can't really afford to spend 40 to 50 million per player. It won't stretch that far. So I am looking more so... In terms of a sentiment that's going to grow at Alex Scott at Bournemouth, who were also relegated. 
He is a player that was a go-to in the Cremo comment section when he was at Bristol City. He's moved to Bournemouth. If they were still Premier League, I might not do it. But they've been relegated. He fits the bill. I'm going to get him in for about 20 million. Mwah. Deal done. Perfect. He'll grow quite nicely. In fact, I can check here using the live editor and we can see exactly what Alex Scott's potential currently is here. So he's currently 77 rated, but his potential is 84. Get him in my club. Right, with regards to the winger, you've already seen a couple of the right mids I've got on option here. Malcolm is a go-to from uh, Al-Hilal. Pacey, decent technically. Jared Bowen is more of a realistic signing. English, can play in a multitude of positions. Great finishing. Obviously, been making a name for himself the past couple of seasons at West Ham as a genuinely talented player that can kick on. Whether he's enough of a step up, I'm not sure. Like we say, Jack Clark is 80, will grow to 84. But if we do prioritise Jack Clark, Jared Bowen would be a perfect backup and step in for that wide role. So he is my preference, but of course you guys will have your say as well. We do have a couple of right wingers alternatively. Obviously, Rafinha is currently first team at Barcelona. I can't justify that. If Barca sign another high-rated winger and replace Rafinha, I might be tempted to jump and go and sign the Brazilian and bring him back to Leeds the same way we're doing with uh, with Ben White. Alternatively to Jared Bowen is Brian and Bermo. He's currently at Bilbao, having moved from Brentford, one red and white striped team for another. But do we bring him to just a full white team? Potentially. He's better than Jared Bowen. He's higher rated than Jared Bowen, but he's probably less realistic a signing because he's only been at Bilbao a year. The, the decision is yours on that front. Brennan Johnson is another one, but I don't think he'd make the jump from Tottenham at this stage. And then with regards to the striking role, Adam Hlozek is my preferred. 82 rated at Brighton. Looks pretty sensational for the level at the moment. And could obviously play Cam as well. Has the pace to play out wide too. He looks pretty bloody good. He would be the most expensive option we've got, but he looks pretty good. Luka Jovic is a slightly alternative option. Currently at AC Milan. They finished 7th or 8th in Serie A last season. We also have Joshua Zerxi, who could potentially come in from Freiburg. Slightly better than uh, the previous Luka Jovic, but still not as good as... Uh, the man from Brighton, Klozik. And then Mateusz Cunha from Wolves would be a slightly more realistic signing from within the Premier League. Again, could probably play in a multitude of positions, kind of similar to Uter, but even at 81, not 84 rated, would probably be a bit more impactful than impactful than Gini Ruter. And then a couple of other wide options. We have Armand Loriente, currently at Sassuolo, 83 rated. Looks really good, actually. Short passing could certainly do with a boost, but if we improve that, and he's crossing. I'm sure his overall would shoot. And then Noah Lang is the obvious go-to in the comment section that you see all the time. So he's on the list as well. But my, like I say, my preference is Klozek and Jared Bowen. And left back, I'm absolutely open to your feedback. But you guys can be the deciding factor. But like I say, I know I want Ben White. I know I want Alex Scott. So I'm going to go and buy Ben White and Alex Scott. Dortmund want 37 for Ben White. I offered 30. Let's meet in the middle, shall we? Will he accept 33 and a half? Yes! Yes, they will. Now, he's currently on £51,000 a week, which isn't astronomical, actually, to be fair. Dortmund tend to be a little bit more reserved with their wage options. He's obviously going to want Crucial. We want to give him Crucial anyway, because he's going to be starting in the 11. No release clause is fine by me. I've got my alerts turned off, so I don't know why that's yayed there. Apologies for that. Uh, current wage is 51. I'll offer him what he's on and a signing on fee. And he might just accept that, to be fair. He wants a £1.5 million bonus. I'm rather unwilling to give him that, but I will give him an extra £15,000 a week, which over the course of the season hmm, might actually some <laughs> add up to about the same. So £55,000 a week. They'll accept it. They'll accept it. The 55 grand will settle it. Ben White is back in white. And someone's very happy about it. Let me sort my alerts out. 
they are turned off, but it does that from occasion. So let's turn them on. The timing of the second yay was pretty good, yeah. Benjamin White is in. Deal done. Right, let's retrain Ben White as a centre back. Would Wagner's rating go up as a winger? Do you think his passing's not great? No, I don't think I don't think he's going to do anything. I don't think that's going to do much at all. Uh, ben White, Benjamin. Hello, hi. Hello, hello, hi. Right, his rating might even go up at centre back. To be fair. Oh yeah, training plan. Oh, already doing it. Did he have number four? Did he have number four before? Did he? When he was at Leeds? Not sure who is my number four currently. Ethan Ampadu is my number four. It's not really a six though, is he? I swap, I swap Ampadu and uh, him around, so Ampadu could be my number six. All right, Mr. Scott. Born with having been relegated, if it were real life, probably wouldn't be quite so bullish. Casper, that's definitely an idea. I could maybe do that for the Cambridge save. True, Ben Davies can play left back. Although he's, n he's really not very quick, is he? Game. Right. Let's try again. Let's give Ben White. Change him to centre back, and you reckon I should give him the number five? Okay. Let's try again and get Alex Scott, shall we?
Right. I'll offer the player swap again. I'll try and duplicate that previous that previous uh, deal. So it's 4.65 million with a sell on clause of 15%. And now we want 6.7. Aha, of course you do. Balls. How about 4.7? 5.2. Nah, fine. Let's get the deal done. Don't freeze this time. It didn't. Lovely. So £23,000 a week is what Alex Scott is currently on. I've had to pay an extra six hundred grand to get the deal done this time. Oh, his agent's wearing a free agent kit. Well, I mean, I guess he is an agent, I suppose. Imagine coming to a restaurant like this as a full kit wanker. Rotation is superb. That would suit us down to the ground. We absolutely want to time down long term. No release clause suits me. 23 grand a week at the moment. We'll offer him 25. It's an increase, but it's not massive. And he's willing to accept 25 grand a week plus. A little bit of a smattering of clauses and bonuses suits me down to the ground. Alex Scott is now also in Kai Wagner plus 5.2 million pounds. Someone in live chat has quite rightly pointed out as well. We do already have Ben Davies at the club, who could certainly fill a backup left-back role that Kai Wagner previously would have done. Also, Cody Drama can fill a, ba a backup fullback position as well. So we're still going to look for that backup... Uh, that backup... Oh, sorry, that starting left-back. But at the moment, you guys are going to be the ones that decide that. I'm not going to jump too soon into making a decision. I am looking to sell some players. I'll show you those on the transfer list at the moment. Dan James, Gruev, Bates Perkins, and just those four. To raise about another 20 odd million pounds if we can get valuation for all of them. We've already achieved the, uh, the objective there for the board, which is fantastic. And now we'll push on and try and Advanced towards that first game of the season, which, weirdly, is actually against Wolves, who we just lost to in the FA Cup final. Week, two week. Feyenoord have bid for Riley. That is going to be a no. Dan James have, Dan James has bid. Dan James hasn't bid. Crystal Palace have bid for Dan James. I reckon I could get up to about 12.2. Because we've got as many signings as we'd like to make, I am going to try and squeeze a little bit more out of Crystal Palace here. Any extra we can just add in is going to be of value to us as we move forward. It's only an extra 700 grand, but that will that will cover the extra money I just had to pay for Kai Varga, I suppose. On £42,000 a week, currently Dan James, he hopefully should be able to agree terms to Crystal Palace and will be gone. However, Roma would very much like him as well, apparently. So let's try and negotiate with Roma. They might well have a little bit more money than Crystal Palace. Although, saying that, pretty much every Premier League side probably has more money than the rest of Europe. Even the very smallest of Premier League sides probably have more money than the rest of Europe. Other than the very big boys. And even the very big boys probably haven't got that much money either, to be fair. Inter would like Crescencio Somerville. Inter can get fucked. I had to, I had to pay a little bit more for Kai because the game bugged, Marcus. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean. Dan James has decided where he wants to go. Is it Crystal Palace? Or is he destined for the Italian capital? It's Crystal Palace, the English capital then. 10.6 million pounds. Toodaloo, Daniel. We shall miss your pace, but overall you are replaceable. And, uh, well, the YouTube comment section are going to replace you. What for the bid for Sonny Perkins? I'm just going to accept that. Bristol City have also bid. I'm just going to accept that too. A loan to buy for... Uh, Mm, no, thank you. Can I delegate that to just a buy? I can't. Uh, 
I'll just wait till someone pays for it. Actually, no, Greenwood I wanted to loan out, didn't I? Mm, that's annoying. I just screwed myself over there. Ah. I'll city, bid, or Marais, delegate. Yeah, good, thank you, Wills. How are you, my man? Everton would like to buy Leah Gruev. Valued at 9. Release clause of 15.8. They've bid 9.9. .9. Seems rather similar to the Dan James bid, doesn't it? Everton will have some pennies available, though. So we'll ask for 11.9. And, well, this seems like a ex very, very similar transfer dealing. To the one with Crystal Palace, doesn't it? Will you pay £11 million, Sean Dice? Final offer. Really? Because the tension is still only about a third of the way up. I know you guys can't see it because I'm in the way. Will you pay 10.6? You will. Came and save will start after this one, Ben. Not sure on the time frame, I'm afraid. Luton have bid for Lewis Bate. We'll just accept that straight off the bat. Uh -huh. Gruev is Gonev. Off to Everton. That's Sonny Perkins. £2.8 million pounds to Bristol City. Pretty sure that was Gruev, wasn't it? That was... Yeah. Gruev to Everton for £10.6 million. Pounds. So the... The kitty's filling back up again. We still have a budget of £97 million. Don't quit the save, Ches. So there's still plenty of work to be done. The left back, the striker and the winger. But with a budget of £100 million, I can afford to spend about £33-ish million pounds per player. Lewis Bate goes to Luton for £3.2 million. That will probably tick us just over the £100 million mark with the budget. So we are very much in a position now where, fingers crossed, we'll have the finances available to sell everyone, or to, sorry, to sign everyone that you guys recommend that you would like me to sign. I'm going to delegate these to loans rather than loans to buys. And Jack Clark is going absolutely nowhere. I'm sorry, Eddie Howe. Casper, thank you very much for the fourth month subscribes, mate. Very good of you. Liverpool want Joshua Riley. No, mate. He should be um, loan listed, right? Yeah. To Kevin Howe are going to take Aiden Lucas. Cadiz are going to take Nicholas Goddard, provided he agrees to go there, of course. Ben White has changed his position from a, from a right back to a centre back and gone up by two in rating. You love to see it. Evidently has peaked there, but quite frankly, at 85, that doesn't matter. Lovely. Well, that was good value for money, wasn't it? No. No. Ben White's value is... Duh, 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 duh. 42 million, up 40%. Aha! Good business! Count those pennies, boys.
No. Victor Yerker is a striker. He's good, but I don't know. By all means, feel free to leave it in the comment section of the YouTube video when it goes live on Friday, Seb, and see if it gets some thumbs up. He set Jeremy Clarkson smug face. There is some interest in Kieran Tierney from Napoli at Arsenal. £27.8 million is what they've offered for him. I probably, probably can't say come and join me when he has a potential to go to Napoli, can I? He isn't my preferred. I don't know whether Kieran Tierney feels a little bit obvious for the go-to role at left back, I'd probably favour someone that is a bit more left field. Miguel Gutierrez is the left field one at Girona. Obviously, Parisi is a bit popular as well in the comment section of uh, multiple episodes. Uh, they both have their own player face. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let Napoli have him. Kieran is gonna come off the shortlist, or at least he's gonna move to Napoli. Well, he might not agree terms, but you imagine, as is normally the case in FIFA, when someone starts to show an interest in bids, it tends to mean that they're going. Bournemouth would like to loan Greenwood. Fletcher going to go to Braga. You're not having Cresswell. You can go to Southampton. You can go to Young Boys. And you can be alone to buy. James Riley and Josh Riley. Oh, God. Hey, Joe. How are you, my dude? Okay, interest in Fabiano Paris. Oh! This isn't necessarily the email we're most intrigued by, is it? Wolves have shown an interest in signing Sam Greenwood on loan. I'm quite happy for that to happen. But this is the one. Aston Villa have agreed to pay the £56.3 million release clause. No. If it was someone ginormous, then absolutely. But I tell you what. I'm going to offer him a new deal. Offer you a new deal, Joel. You are the top goal scorer at the club in this save. The man that fired us to promotion. The man that fired us to a great position in the league last year. I will give you a significantly inflated contract to entice you to stay. No release clause this time. And considering we're in European football now, I will give him quite the wage jump and a decent signing on bonus as well. Just to kind of legitimise keeping him at the club. That's a reasonable offer, is it? A reasonable offer. Like a 70% wage increase and a £1 million signing on fee is a reasonable offer. Joel Peru stays. I'm not letting him go. Talks are broken down with Aston Villa. Good. Lovely. You're going to go to Bournemouth, are you? Bournemouth or Wolves? To be, to be honest, Bournemouth would probably make most sense. It's great to know and you're constant... Great to see that you're... My con you know what I mean? Stay sharp, son. Oh, did I not put the straw poll in the description? Thank you for bringing it to my attention, Joe.
I did think about that the other day, actually, and then forgot uh, to do anything about it. Let me just add something in the comments. Ah, lads. Dylan, thank you very much for the follow, mate. Welcome to the channel, dude. You had Jimenez and Osasuna accepted your 75 mil counter, so Peru popped off. Yeah, that's fair enough. Alexander Morton on his way to Southampton to Lou. Hello, Bob. How are we, sir? I hope this season's going to be good, Jordan. That's the plan. Roma have bid for Matteo Joseph. Now, there was some call in the comment section to keep Joseph as my backup striker. His potential has dropped from the early 80s to the late 70s, and I just don't anticipate him being good enough to step in and do the job when I need him to. I would like someone more talented. So, as a result, he is going to go out on loan, and we're not going to keep Matteo Joseph at the club for now. Sam Greenwood is also going out on loan, although he's going to get Premier League experience at Wolves rather than uh, Championship experience at Bournemouth. We will quick see in the pre-season tournament. 2-2 draw with Bayer Leverkusen is not a bad result, to be honest. We have no idea yet how we're going to stack up against those other teams around Europe, having not had any European football so far. A lot of youngsters have gone out on loan in this pre-season so far. We have upwards of 45 players in the squad, and obviously we want to make yet more additions to that with a left-back, a striker, and a winger. So still plenty to be done. There's only... Do I have anyone left on the short on the short list transfer list to sell? No, everyone we wanted to, everyone we wanted to sell has gone. Contreras with a loan to buy, we'll do that. Riley with actually no, uh, I'll just reject that. I want a loan, please. Augsburg, sorry. And Roma have accepted the one year deal. Lovely. Well, that's superb. I've got nine bloody emails though. Nonto is available again. I bro. I don't know about Nonto. I really don't. Nonto transfer bid. He, oh, I would be willing to let... He's dropped to 78 as well. Wilfred Nonto was up at 81. Got a long-term injury. Has dropped three ratings. Can we afford to wait the time it's going to take for him to grow again? I don't think so. Wilfred Nonto is going to go. I will delegate and see if... They'll accept anything slightly higher. Don't sell the player for less than 21.2 is what I'll say. But I'd be, I'd be open to, uh, to letting him go. I'm sorry, Wilfred. Didn't he in real life also at some point say he wanted to leave and then changed his mind? Interesting, Mark Gahey, that's fine. I think that might be the case, actually, IRL. So it's not necessarily the most unrealistic thing to let Wilfred Nonto leave the club. Okay, well, cracking further on then. Actually, let's just quickly see what we can do. Ah, oh, everybody's absolutely dead. Yep, 3-0 defeat. No surprises there. Leon will pay 22.4 for Wilfred Nonto. Done. That's going to significantly improve our ability to negotiate further. Nonto hasn't been involved for six months. 
and now will no longer be involved. Matteo Joseph is off to Roma. He goes for another 12 months out on loan. He may well be in a position next season to be part of the squad. But at the moment, he's just not the one. Hey, Braden. Isahaku we used in a save last year. Uh, uh, Sheffield United, I think. So I'd probably lean away from him at the moment. Hello, Leone. How are we, my love? Loan to buy for Clareson. Nah, thank you. Also, chat. Where do I send my? Where do I? Where do I? Where do I send my youth scouts? Hungary. Okay, we'll send the Frenchman to Hungary. Hungary is about here. Yeah, that's weird. Hungary, you can search Hungary, but you can't search Romania. Oh, Romania's over there. For some reason, I thought they were above one another. Hungary for nine months. Send someone to Norway, certainly. And then the English scout is going to. New Zealand, consider it done. Thank you, Akash. A 1 0 win against Juventus. Goal scored by Archie Gray. You love to see it. Archie Gray giving Leeds United a win over Juventus. Something that Leeds fans IRL could probably only dream about at this particular moment in time. I know Wilfred Nonto hasn't played. He's been injured for seven months, for Christ's sake. He did his knee ligament, if you don't mind. Right, he just changed the training plan to give everybody all the sharpness in the world. Because, quite frankly, they are going to save their fitness with no further games this season. And then we'll be in a great position for the Premier League's opening day against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Bye, Wilfred! Thank you for your service for a season and a half before you broke your bloody leg. Toodaloo, enjoy your new club. Thank you for your service. Bye, Felicia. You were typing by Felicia when I said. You know me too well. Interesting Cunha by Genoa. Francisco Fernandez, a one year loan. Yes, please. Henk would like to give me some money for Patrick Bamford. Bamford is still in a position where he could probably do a job. He did grow to 76 at the end of last season, has now come back down to 75. We are looking to sign another striker that would come in and basically take Bamford's position at the club. 
I'd be inclined to keep Bamford for one more year, then let him go and have Matteo Joseph fill Patrick Bamford's spot in the club. So I think that's what I'm going to do. We have arrived on match day one of the Premier League season against Wolverhampton Wanderers. The opportunity to immediately get payback for them beating me in the FA Cup final last season. They've got Loney from me, Sam Greenwood, starting in their 11. Previously intrigued left-back Ike Nuri at left wing-back, although he has peaked, as we say, at 80, so I'm not going to go for him. And they have lost Mateus Cunha to Genoa, so he's gone, and Shimi Avila comes in in his place, although Shimi Avila did score against us in the league last year. So then, we have new players in our starting lineup. Ben Davis is knackered, apparently. Oh, okay, well done, mate. Uh, other than that, we are good to go. I might put drama there. And then we're in a great position. Ben White's 85. Anyone else grown by any more? Clark's up to 81 already. Maybe Jarrod Bowen is the go-to then, if Clark is going to rock it to 84. And actually, Clark just takes that first-team spot and Bowen comes in as the backup. Or depth, so to speak. Okay, here we go then. Wolves versus Leeds United. I'm going to play in the white kit because I'm wearing it and I can't be asked to change my top right now. And actually, there was a comment saying that we should play in the home kit more so than we play in the away kit, regardless of whether we're home or away. So we'll do that too. Right, let's get this new season up and running in good fashion. Great. It's a Cody drama. Somerville. And Archie Gray into Ethan Ampadu. And Milan van Evoit. Clark is wanting to make that run. Ruter out of his feet. Gio! Wide of the target from Genie Ruter. Liam O'Neill. Liam O'Neill? <laughs> Cambridge United. Gary O'Neill. Clearly not phased by that at all. Completely straight faced. He knew it was going wide all the time. I did not. I thought that might have been headed to the top corner. Here's Sam Greenwood inside to Cundall. Nice to know that Sam Greenwood is going to get first team football at Wolves in their midfield. He does have decent potential to steal Sam Greenwood. He could certainly be a player that could do a job for us when uh, players... Concentrating. <laughs> oh, come on. There's like... Fuck around that age out. Kilman into Aitnori and Shimi Avila. Greenwood and Aitnori again. Ampadu. I tried to foul him more so than anything, just to halt him in his tracks. It didn't work. Melier with a save. We had one of the best defensive records in the league last year. Melier had the most clean sheets in the league last year. And it was making saves, saves like that that meant that that was the case. Wang Yi Chan. Dummy once. Back to Pedro Neto. Don't let him shoot on his left. Melier forced into a save again, but Ben White will keep it in. They certainly could do, Ben. I never like ping that all the way up to Somerville. Drama's going on the run. They're going to pick up on him. Nelson Semedo couldn't quite. And inside, looking for Ruter. <sighs> well in. Genie wins it back. Ampadu has Jack Clark. Oh, okay. Well in, Archie Gray. Unfortunately, it's just still fallen for Pedro Neto. Archie Gray's also up 1 to 80 rated. Into the 80s now. Van Nevoit can't get to that. Melier's been called upon more often than I might like in these opening few stages, but Wolves were a tricky side to play against last year. Like we say, 
As you're keenly aware from yesterday's episode, we lost the FA Cup final to them. Oh, that's dangerous. Lost the FA Cup final to them yesterday, and in the last time we played them in the league, we were drawing 1-1 and found it difficult to play against them and only won the game in the last minute with a very, very late goal. So maybe Wolves are becoming the Brentford bogey team of this save. Who knows? I have more of a better idea of whether that's the case or not come the end of this game. This is going to open up quite nicely for us if Shimu Vila hadn't tracked back and intercepted. You bastard! Well in, Archie. Great. Somerville. Piru. Leeds fans will be pleased that Joel is staying. Aston Villa. Not so glamorous an option that I had to let him go. And even if it was a more glamorous option, I'd, be, I'd have been tempted to make him stay. Or entice him to stay anyway. Simi Avila into Neto. To Simi Avila again. Ben White's going to have to come across here and deal with it, which he doesn't do. Avila blocked. Falls to Huang. It's a lovely turn. It's 1-0 Wolves. They are the bogey team. Rafinha season. Thank you for the follow, mate. Uh, ben White was 83, Rob. As a right back. And we changed his position. And he was back up at Dortmund. And he's got history at the club. If he didn't have history at the club, I might not have been able to justify it. But Because he's played for Leeds before. I'm sure people will be open to that. Ampadu. And Genie. Drama. Somerville. Oh, it's a lovely ball. Drama. Can I squeeze it through there? Not even close, says. Kundal. Neto. Oh, he's gotten away. Here comes Pascal Strout. All right, here comes Cody Drama. And Evite. Ah. Found me there. Greenwood. Well in. Ben White. Love that. Their back five is just always there, though. It's the main thing against Wolves. You just don't get any space in the final third because there's always someone in front of you. Archie Gray making runs. Somerville equally. Ah, oh, but can't get the turn in. I'm going to be losing again. New Cathedral City Cheesecake? No. 12 kilos of cheese? The fuck is that all about? 12 kilos? Cheese grommet. Go, go back and run, just lift it over the top, you know. Dimi Mitov is the ex Cambridge keeper, yeah. Was it St Johnston, Cole? Why? Handled somebody there. Out to Neto. It's around the corner. And into Shimi Avila. Semedo. I can't get there. Greenwood. Neto. Oh, turn. Really good turn. And the finish. Oh, my God. Wolverhampton Wanderers are my kryptonite. What a goal from Pedro Neto. Well, we ended last season with a loss to Wolves. It looks like we'll be beginning this season with a loss to Wolves. 
That turn. That turn. My God. What a goal. Handle. Well in, Ben. Not sure what Ben White is doing quite that far up the pitch, but at the moment, I don't mind. You're on side, Jack. It's close, but you're on. Uh, near post! Oh, Slanina makes the save. New signing from Chelsea here at Wolverhampton Wanderers. It's the best I've come up with so far offensively. In the FA Cup final yesterday, we only had like two shots in the whole game. This is literally a carbon copy of that, other than... Wolves have actually extended their advantage on this occasion. Routet, back to Gray, into Ampadu. It's just no room. There's no room. Wolves, why are you so good? Somerville, Peru. No, Wolves are just outrageous. Officially the new Brentford. Well in, Somerville. Come on then, please. Peru, keep up, mate. Jeez Louise. No! Fuck! Bueno. Somerville steps in well. Advantage was played in our favour. Peru's going. Has he got the legs to get there? Mm. No. Fucking Nora. What are these all about, eh? Come on, Alex Scott, what have you got? Christ alive. Ampadu is up well. Van Evite takes that in his stride nicely. Jack Clark. Van Evite's going to go again. It's a lovely ball. Van Evite's not going to get there right now. He does really well. That's not great from the keeper, though. Kundal helps it on. Ampadu brings that down, and Shimmy Vila tackles him immediately. Lovely. Wonderful. I wanted to give Wolves a taste of their own medicine here in this game, and all that's happened is they've given us, given us a second helping of what they dished out yesterday. Somerville brings that down nicely. Semedo's with me. There's just no room. What do you do against a team like this? You can't play around them. You can't play through them. You can't play over them. Under them isn't an option because that's not how physics works. How the hell do you beat Wolverhampton Wanderers? Simple, you don't. <laughs> Kundalov for Gomez. Shimmy Avila. Ben White. He's been the one silver lining in this game, Ben White. Been really, really good. So I'm quite happy with that signing at this particular moment in time. Ben White is doing the business. Just so happens that he alone can't do the business to stop an entire 11. Genie Ruter on the run. Let's keep it alive. Somerville doing the same. It's Alex Scott. Alex Scott on debut. Hoo -wee! That looked like it was headed towards the top corner. That would have been a wonderful goal. What a welcome to the first 11 that would have been. Somerville delivers and Ben White's up, but it's over the bar.
Well in and Padu. Peru. Nice turn. Right, can I rely on your left foot? <laughs> yes. Yes, exclamation mark. Joel Peru. Earning his wage rise. What a fucking finish. Three minutes added on. That's enough time. It is enough time. Ha! It's not enough time. Never mind. Well, we end the season. Sorry, restart the season as we ended the season. With a defeat to Wolves. It's just that this time it was at Molyneux, not at Wembley. Like we say, one bright spark being Ben White's performance. Very happy with that. Leicester beat Chelsea, so I'm not going to feel too downheartened about losing on opening day away from home. Bloody Wolves, man. Honestly, Bamford's disappointed not to play. I'm sorry, Paddy, but it's just not happening, mate. I know I kept you at the club, and you are just a placeholder for Matteo Joseph next season, but we do have some signings to be made then. You guys have to offer me the suggestions or agree with what I've got on the shortlist already with Everton and Crystal Palace for transfer deadline day in the next episode and at the moment we're 15th in the table we won't be staying there though and you'll notice Millwall won the playoffs in the championship last year Millwall Football Club in the Premier League Leeds Millwall and West Ham Millwall are going to be pretty intense as fixtures aren't they Arsenal top of the table after a stonking 4-0 win over West Ham. Not a great start to the season for the Hammers. So we've a sizable budget. We can afford to spend about 40 million per player on the left back, the striker and the winger. So please let me know who to sign at left back, striker and winger. That'd help, wouldn't it? Thank you very much for watching this first episode of season three. Peru's left foot is a wonderful piece of kit and hopefully we'll be able to uh, go only upwards from there after today's first action on the pitch. I'm sure we will do. Thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up, leave your comments and I'll see you after the weekend. Enjoy it. Right. That is Leeds 3-1. And we will quickly edit that, if you don't mind. If you don't mind. So that we can then concentrate on what we're doing for the rest of the day and not have to worry about it. Did I save it? 1.32pm. I did. Peru's 86 in your save now, is he? What a baller, sir. What a baller. Oh, yeah, he said he's gone to Osasuna. 75 million, right? Moo! Uh, I don't envisage. Hello? Oh, I put it in the wrong fucking folder, that's why. Well done, Chez. Hey, what do you know? The return of a former player. Here we go again, season three. Oh, I want Ben White. I know I want Alex Scott. Ben White and Alex Scott. Dortmund want third, seven. Stay with three and a half. Eight. And someone's very happy about it. Let me sort my alerts out. They are turned off. Back in white. And someone's very happy about it. Let me sort my alerts out. They are turned off. Having been relegated 
if it were Bournemouth having been relegated, if it were real life. I now very was frozen. Fantastic. So twenty three thousand. So twenty three thousand week is and squeezedly is actually against Wolves, who we just lost to in the FA Cup final. It's going to be a no. Dan James. Dan James. Dan James. James's bid. Dan James. Roma would enter. Would like Crescencio Somerville. Inter can get fucked. Dan James is where he wants. I'm just going to accept that too. A loan to buy for uh, Italian capital. It's Crystal Palace, the English capital. Then 10.6 million pounds. Toodaloo, Daniel. We shall miss your pace, but overall you are replaceable. And uh, Everton would like to buy Elia Gru. Everton. But overall, you are replaceable. replaceable. Everton would like to buy Elia Gruev. Valued at 9. Release clause of 15.8. Yeah, everyone talks waxes work about Santiago well, Jimenez, don't they, Cole? Similar to the Dan James bid, doesn't it? Will you pay 10.6? You will. Gruev is gone out. It's left to be done. To spend a... Absolutely nowhere. I'm sorry, Eddie Howe. And gone up by 2 in rating. You... Let's see Kevin Howe. Again. Aiden Lucas. He agrees to go there, of course. Funny, wasn't it? There is some interest in Kieran Tierney. Perhaps someone starts to show an interest in bids, it tends to mean that they're going. Okay, in, in Fabiano also. Club in this save. It's great to know in your constant. Great to see that your nice. And a £1 million signing on fee is a reasonable offer. Joel Peru stays. I'm not Roma have bid for Matteo Joseph. Roma have bid for Matteo. Well, Roma have bid for. Uh, Mateo high racing Joseph. next, Dad. Now, there was some call in the comment section to keep Joseph. But maybe as maybe my some FM striker. later. If I play high racing, I'm just shit at it. Dropped from the early. And I don't want to play anymore. All my uh, my arms and legs start and to give in. I then we'll switch to FM. Don't anticipate him being good enough to step in and do the job when I need him to. I would like someone more talented. So, as a result, he is going to go out on loan and we're not going to keep Matteo Joseph at the club for now. Sam Greenwood is also going out on loan, although he's going to get Premier League experience at Wolves to that, with a left-back, a striker and a winger. So, still plenty to be done. There's only... Do I have anyone left on the short on the short list, transfer list to sell? No, everyone we wanted to, everyone we wanted to sell has gone. Contreras with a loan to buy. Well, transfer list to sell... No, everyone we wanted, to, everyone we wanted to sell has gone. Contreras with a loan to buy. Well, that's superb. I've got nine bloody emails though. Not as well. And Roma have accepted. And Roma have the one-year deal. Love it. Oh, everybody's absolutely dead. Yep, three-nil defeat. No surprises there. Leon will pay two points. He'll be in a position next season, but but at the moment, it's just not the one. 1 0 win against Juventus. And he's been injured for seven months. The Premier League's opening day. Toodaloo. Enjoy your new club. Thank you for your service. Bye, Felicia. Bamford is still in a, pos Bamford is still in a position where he could probably. So I think in the least grown by anymore. And actually, there was a comment saying it regardless of whether we're home or away. So we'll do that too. Mark is wanting to make that run. Ruter out of his. Great. He declares Ruter out of his feet. Gio! Julian Assange has been granted limited leave for the height. Who's Julian Assange, Jamie? Yeah, Ampadu needs a new haircut, doesn't he, with his player model? Oh! I'm sure, if Leeds get promoted, they'll Why update you. the target from Genie Ruter? Liam O'Neill. Liam O'Neill? <laughs> Cambridge United. Gary O'Neill. Clearly not phased by that at all. Completely strong. Kilman. Nori. Shimi Avila. Work. What's in the league live? Nelly A. Keep it in. Well, in Archie Gray. Actually, it's just still fallen for Pedro Neto. Well, in Archie Gray. Archie Gray. side to play. Last time we played. Who knows? Lovely turn. It's 1 0 Wolves. There's a right back. I've not been able to justify it, but. Because he's played for least before. Oh, the bogey team. Lynn, ben White. The main thing is not get any stuff, but can't get the turn in. Samedo. What a goal. Kundal. 
Well in Ben. It's not yesterday. It's no it's outrageous. Officially the new Brentford. Australian Ed is the publisher and activist who founded WikiLeaks in 2006. Oh, that guy. He does, doesn't he, Ads? But at least he's having fun. <laughs> Jamie has time of his life in chat. Just hanging out for the day. And Padu. Well, Van Evite takes that in his stride nicely. And Padu is up well. Van Evite takes that in his stride nicely. Jack Clark. Van Evite's going to go again. It's a lovely ball. The keeper, though. Wonderful. And almost a second helping of what they dished out yesterday. Do you beat Wolverhampton? Tomatoes with. What do you do? Wolverhampton Wanderers? Ben White. Shimmy Avila. Welcome to the first 11 now. It's over the bar. Ha! Tough time. Never mind. Well, well. End of the season. We can afford a side after the weekend. Enjoy it. Uh, no, that wasn't the guy that moved to Russia. Oh, Snowden, sorry. You, I saw you mentioned Snowden above in the previous comment. Snowden moved to Russia, yeah. Edward Snowden. Exposed all the mil all of the secrets, didn't he? And then they were like, "Oh, you shouldn't do that." I said, like, "Well, hang on, no, you, sh you shouldn't be doing the things that you were keeping a secret." <laughs> if anyone deserves jail time, it's whoever was doing that, not the fact that he actually told the world that you were doing that. That's not how that works. Leaking secrets to an extent obviously is a bad thing, but when the secret you're leaking is that your government are up to some pretty shady illegal shit, then I think it's passable to allow, from a public point of view, the leaking of the shit. Because you shouldn't be fucking doing that. That's no to. Well... We end the season, sorry, restart the season as we ended the season. With a defeat to Wolves. It's just that this time it was at Molyneux, not at Wembley. Like we say, one bright spark being Ben White's performance. Very happy with that. Leicester beat Chelsea, so we're not going to feel too downheartened about it. Right. Uh, let me do this. to render and then we want to move that over there we want to move that over there want to move that over there want to move that over there move that is already over there want to move that over there because we want to do some eye racing now, where I go on the screen during iRacing, I don't know. We'll figure that out. But give me a couple of minutes to have a quick toilet break. And then uh, we will crack on with some iRacing. Oh, I need to move this over here as well. There we go. We'll crack on with some iRacing. And then you guys can, can laugh at me and see how bad I truly am. Right, BRB. <laughs>
Right. Uh, I need to move shit around, don't I? Let me move shit around. Him. I've no idea where it's going to be best for me to put my camera, to be honest. We'll figure that out. Let me switch to that. Um. What's the best way to go about this? I'll change the stream title first. Just going to title it First Timer Advice Welcome. Uh, Vic has her camera in the top right, does she? I have folded shite. Right. On the Formula One game... On the Formula One game, I can be... Like... Two to three seconds, maybe... Just under two seconds a lap off my controller pace, but oof. I tried. I tried this yesterday, just as a little taster, to get everything set up so I could just go straight into it. I am shit at this. So you, you're going to enjoy watching a man fail hard, but hopefully it's entertaining for you at the very least. I've rounded the leads top, do I? That's weird. Right, rather run to a throw. Oh, you heavy bastard. Oh, you heavy bastard. <laughs> As far as I want to go, about there. Lower the desk a bit. <sighs> yes. Probably walk on the floor so I can see what's going on. Uh, I won't bother with gloves initially. Get my slippers off. I won't try with my slippers, do I? Um, should I lower the camera? Lower the camera a bit, can't I? Huh. Oh God! Oh, we get. Is that all right? How's that? There's a camera angle. You guys are like the viewing. Hello. Here's all my shit. Uh, it's not a new one, no. This is the wheel that I, I bought like four years ago. It's just the, the CSL Elite F1 Fanatec wheel. Right. On, please. Well, that finished rendering as well, didn't it? Lovely. Let's just set that to upload whilst we're at it. I'm going to sneeze. Baby! Oh Christ! That was uh, strong. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry about that. Uh, what do you want? We want the leads one. Oh! Bloody hell, that hurt my face. 
season three, episode one. Uh, what picture do I use? What should we use as a picture for? I could, I could maybe use a picture of Nonto because he's leaving. This will be Friday's video, so Friday at three. I don't know what picture to use for the first episode of season three, to be honest. I mean, I could use Ben White in the least top, but that kind of spoils it a bit, doesn't it? Like the title is the return of a former player, and then if they see Ben White on the Ben White and Thumb, they're like, "Oh, I wonder who the former player is." <laughs> I mean, I could yeah, I was because I could blur his face. Let's do that. Ben White leads. I mean, it's probably going to be quite obvious who it is, but. Thank you. Everyone's probably going to go, Oh, is it Calvin Phillips? Is it, it going to be Calvin Phillips, Chaz? No. Let's not be Calvin Phillips. Big, big question mark right in the middle. Somebody does the job. Just cover this for a sec, just in case something it shows something that it shouldn't. It shouldn't do, but just in case. all of the all of the default content at the moment I haven't bought anything yet so I've got like the Mazda MX-5 we've got the Radical got the GR86 a Beetle got the Delara DW12 a couple of NASCARs a couple of open wheelers Formula V Formula V is absolute shite by the way you do the practice race in that and it's horrendous Let me pop that wheel there, so at least it gives you something to look at in the corner. Not sponsored by Fanatec, by the way. <laughs> I would like to thank you, Noda Bear, for the uh, third month, mate. I've already signed up, so we've got all the free stuff. So when it comes to tracks. 
I don't really know any of these tracks. The only track, the only tracks I know are Alton Park, and I don't really know no Alton Park. Snetterton, I don't really know no Snetterton. Uh, Sukuba because of Forza, and that's kind of it. I don't think I know any other circuit to be honest on this list. So I would be tempted to buy a couple of tracks. Until out of rookies, don't worry about buying unless need track. So like I said, I'm, I am up, I'm open for all advice here. What is the best thing to go about doing first? What's the best car to go about using first? Should I just do some test driving? Should I just do some AI stuff? Or should I just drive straight into online races? So what would you like? Obviously, when it comes to assists, etc., there aren't really assists. It, it's it's a sim. So it's like what if the car has ABS, then you have ABS. If the car doesn't have ABS, then you don't have ABS. It's that sort of thing. So I did I did some test driving at Sukuba in uh, the Radical and was horrendous. And then I did some in the GR86. I did like the GR86, although there wasn't much feel there. I might need to still figure, like, mess about with some of the settings. But I am going to be uh, average. So we, what would you recommend? What would you recommend? AI single player. A Porsche. I don't have that car, do I? I think I had a Porsche. I don't. Do I just get to Do I just get to drive in that Porsche because it's there? It is a big bottle, yes. I'm not going to jump in at the deep end. But by rookies, you mean online, Magpie? New name, who dis? Oh, hello! Seb Kavalka, the former Badger Man. How are we, sir? Get to watch my ultimate demise. I mean, a Porsche 911 GT3 would be really nice to drive, but the MX-5 would probably be... more agreeable. Like a slower start. Let me turn the music off. There's a dark mode in the UI. Yes, please. Uh, settings. Dark mode. Where would I? Interface. Hello, dark mode. Who can be my spotter? Scrolling. Yeah. I'm sure someone in chat will just be like, Meh. learn to drive the MX-5s of the Formula Ford, or the, the Formula 1600. I'll click on the helmet top right for dark mode. Hey, And the eyes soothe. Let's drive the MX-5 for a little bit. I presume there aren't like different levels to the AI. It just there is the AI, and then whether you're good or not depends. I haven't driven the MX-5 yet. I mean, I should test drive the MX-5 a little bit. Let me test drive it. No, the heck. Let me test drive the MX-5 a little bit. Uh, global MX-5 cut. 
Sakuba's what I know, so I'll, I'll drive at Sakuba. I'm playing in windowed at the moment. I'm very, very, very new to iRacing, so please, please forgive. Oh, I've kind of, I've trapped my wire underneath me. <sighs> I wish it wasn't so tall. Oh, God. Oh, why are you so heavy? You are forgiven. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. <sighs> I should probably spend this time practicing for fucking creator series, shouldn't I? But I've been desperate to play iRacing racing for about four years. So I'm gonna take the opportunity. Oh my god, you're so fucking heavy. Ah, here we go. Oh, hello, Amy. Oh. Right now, does anyone have any recommendations with regards settings initially? This is what I've got by default. Obviously, set up my steering, my pedals, my look left and right, etc. Oh, me. Yeah, I'm six foot four, Dunder. I'll be recommended Crew Chief. And I've been recommended. What did Dale recommend? Dale recommended Crew Chief and. Uh, Race Labs. Crew Chief and Race Labs, what been recommended. So is 900 degrees the right thing for a wheel range or should I change that? Field of view, I've got set 106 at the moment. Uh, I turned the main volume down slightly just for the stream. Graphically, far with it running as it is. Sound wise, you'll have to let me know what sound the sound sounds like if it's about right. And control wise, I've got everything just I can't remember whether what's what actually. I did set it yesterday. Pause I don't know what my pause is. One of these is DRS, one of these is pit speed limiter, and one of them is uh overtake, but Yeah, I know the iRacing spotter does a, a decent job by default. Trading paints for liveries, yeah. Um, Dale did recommend that as well, to be fair, trading paints. Uh, Garage-wise, I when it comes to setups, no I fucking idea what I'm doing. So I'm just going to leave everything at default. You have to let me know what. Um, you'll have to let me know. Is this, is this a, a decent um, FOV, by the way, or should I should I move it in or out a bit? literally my first my first time this is literally my first time driving the Mazda so I don't know what sort of mechanical grip I'm gonna have or not uh, turns out perhaps not I need a bit more uh, oh, ha thanks I need a bit more um, force feedback I think Yeah, I, I, like I've obviously just gone in there and driven as if the car was set up to just go. But obviously, like you say, I've got to, got to warm the tyres up, etc. This is where it, the the transition between just a casual racer and a sim comes in. I know, I know. There's a there's an FOV slider here. I just I don't know what is what is the recommended FOV.
Go graphics. No, the, the FOV is in here. Button at the top of the graphics tab. Monitors. Yeah, it's, it's just it's a 24-inch monitor. Field of view calculator. Field of view for driving. But like... What? Compute? I don't know, what's viewing distance? I don't know what that is what that means. Oh, how far I am from the screen. Christ. Uh <laughs> two foot. Uh I'm like I'm like two and a half to three foot. It's like 36 inches. What's the, what's the mic audio like, by the way? Because I know I'm a distance from my mic. I'm like... 36 inches. 45 field of view? Surely not. <laughs> no. No. Mic's fine. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, you have to check. You have to check the mic. Well, I'm. Uh, I'm just. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna leave it at a hundred. Because I obviously will not be able to see what's around me as well. Right, we'll just take it easy and warm the tyres up for it. For a couple of laps. I can't see my tire temps anywhere though, can I? And hang on, let me move me into this top left corner initially. Where's my mouse? Because there's nothing, there's nothing up here. So I move me there and then make it all smaller. Do that for now. I shall warm the tyres up initially then. No, we go in same same corner, same exact thing again. Don't hit the wall. What what should I have my FOV set to as you think, Seb? What would you recommend? Lower. What would be the reason for having it lower? That's... See, I need to get used to driving with cold tyres or... I'm... This is, this is where the really, 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 really average driving comes in because I've only ever driven with the wheel I've only ever driven with the wheel with an F1 car with like a shit ton of aero. So to drive something to drive something that has no no aero is actually going to be really difficult for me. We're going to lower FOV. So I'll try 80. I am very aggressive with my turn in. I know that much. And my inputs are very very aggressive.
And I'm, I, I brake too hard as well. Yeah, the good news is I can only get better, you're right. It can't get much worse, can it? How are audio levels, by the way, with, like, car and me? Audio's okay. Okay, perfect, thank you. I'm probably carrying nowhere near enough speed around apexes and stuff. Breaking way too early as well. I don't know whether the racing line is going to help or hinder me. But I, I know the layout of this track, so... I should probably try without the racing line, but... I've just, I've no idea where my braking zones are. There's no way to like get the graphical menus up whilst driving, is there? You have to do you have to go back to the pits, right? Well can I get the can I get the graphic menu up? Whilst I, whilst I'm paused.
I'm just leaning forward a lot as well like this. I need to just... Oh, it's because I... It's a broken turn at the same time. All right, let's turn racing line off then. We the graphics? No. Misc. Under drive, driving line. Yeah, I'm definitely a pro at drifting. Sliding sideways to a stop, nobody's better than me. I need to be slightly closer to the wheel. The thing is, then my legs feel awkward. I have to be sat more upright. My shoulders get stuck under this. The the head bit on here is nowhere near wide enough I am out I guess I'm supposed to be down like this and then I need to be further back I don't know I don't know where best where I'd be best positioned you see okay so we've we've turned let me up force feedback a little bit try 19. Right, oh, twenty. <laughs> uh, auto wipers, pit lane exit, auto pit speed limit. I'll put that on as well. I I could put uh, auto shift. What would you recommend for shift aid? I want to I want to race manual. But what's auto blip? Is that like I consider me an absolute ultimate noob at this? Factor in the fact that I've only raced Forza with a controller and F1 with a controller and a wheel, and that's it. I've never driven a sim. Auto blip is like. Where you're on the, on downshifts, isn't it? Where you just like blip the throttle just to slow the car down better. I imagine I'm not going to be I'm not going to be able to do that or even remotely close to be doing that at this stage. Frame-wise, we're fine as well, aren't we? Like it's locked at 84 FPS at the minute, pretty much. I shouldn't. That's what I'm. I'm 
The car starts to go and I, I downshift and it just does nil. Everything just feels quicker without a racing line on as well, doesn't it? And smoother. Hello, Daniel. How are you, my man? So far, why do There is a way I can have a delta up, isn't there? Or is that with a is that with an add-on? Is that with a mod? To have a delta in the middle of the screen. You cut the cord. You've got to slow down and give up that time. No, you don't need don't need to. You don't need to worry about disturbing me, Daniel. I'm not exactly going 150 miles an hour, am I? I just, I want to take it how I would if I had aero and I don't have aero. Let's do, let's try this. Or should I, should I start in the formula, should I start in the formula, formula Ford? Should probably start in the formula Ford really, shouldn't I? Start the MX-5. Okay, okay. Oh, the the full force much harder, is it, Fez? This is gonna be. This is not FM, Craig. You are right. This is absolutely not FM. Can confirm. Not even close to FM. Yeah, it's like a fun circuit. Some tight and twisties, some medium speed corners, big long flat out straight. You know, uh, it might not have shown it in the. Uh, Oh yeah, it might be worth changing the YouTube title. There you go, done. 
Um, well, let's fucking practice, mate. No idea where I'm going. A track map might be nice, but I don't know. I don't know whether to start with the uh, racing line on just to learn the track keep the racing line off okay first this was the long straight wasn't it Maybe I just get too aggressive too soon. Maybe I need to just kind of acknowledge the fact that I don't know where the fuck I'm going or what I'm doing and just take it bit by bit. was a tighter turn than that, wasn't it? This was hairpin, it was almost hairpin into hairpin in, into hairpin. Hey look, whose skid marks are they? Not mine, surely. Could never be me. Lots of spins, yeah, lots of spins so far. Getting used to driving a car that doesn't have any aero. And we're getting there, slowly but surely. Right. In F on F1, I know I can go relatively close to the limit. I know what the hell I'm doing, basically even with a wheel. Here. No, I'm concentrate chess. Concentrate chess. So, yeah, this is literally my second lap of this circuit. <laughs> oh my lord, fastest lap! No, I'm literally just 
I'm going to race. This is the practice session before a race. This is going to be my first race against AI. I feel like I know the track well enough now to just throw myself into the deep end. To come last in a race after I've spun. I've known literally, I've driven the GR86 last night and now I've done five or six laps at Sukuba with the MX-5 and now this. all the way around to the pits again. Let's qualify. No, there's a 24 there's a 24 hour qualifying session apparently I don't really know why <laughs> ah cold tires cold tires says cold tires says remember you got cold tires no tire blankets like Formula One. So very much got worn tyres and flat spotted tyres now as well, but you never know. Hopefully it's not too bad a thing on this. He says. Like, it's obviously a thing. It's a fucking sim, but you know. carry too much try and carry too much speed through there flat oh flat spots aren't a thing are they I was too busy reading Shit. flat spots aren't a thing Too quick, too quick, too quick, too quick, too quick. Perfect start to lap, you're not wrong. I'm always a, a, a sinner for not, no, uh, not again, not utilising the full trap, the full trap width. I always turn far too tight. Don't let the car run out and carry enough speed. Yeah. 
Incident count three, lap one. <laughs> one out. Maybe a later apex and then pinch in. Nearly. speed through here but I'm gonna have to scrub some off for this so you get two time laps basically that wonky as well. No, oh, I took the wheel on the grass. I haven't touched anything with like things like that yet, Alex, no. That's what I'd like to have on. A delta like that. Obviously I'm corner cutting there and this lab's terrible, but... You got a penalty for cutting the core. I know, I know, I'm pressing other buttons, shut up. Checkered flag. What's the best? That's the thing. I don't know anything about UI or general settings. I don't know what to do. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the right side. Pit road is closed right now. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the the thing that is in the bottom left, sorry, the bottom right, where it shows you like gaps to people, etc. Is that a third party overlay? No, 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 bastard! Sorry, 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 sorry. At least you're only AI. Well, I'm on my way back through. 
Yeah, that, that's what I wanted, was the relative thing. Yeah, there you go. That's what I wanted. Fucking cold ties are an asshole. I hate them. Got myself, like... I don't know when these guys break either, so... Then, apparently. There's a there's an overlay you can get that's in the middle that shows, like, cars around you and stuff, isn't there? I wouldn't mind that. So you can see what where other cars are relative to you. That might be something handy to have. The rate, yeah, like a radar, yeah. I don't know why I do this. <laughs> this, this is the corner that fucks me up. I don't know why. That cat was always closing to us. of 12 Christ <sighs> gamerly yeah proper gamerly isn't it don't know why Got to break. Looked at chat. Car on your left. Yeah, I know. Stay on the right. Keep to the right. Get out of fucking way, pal. Clear. No, not a great thing to do, to forget to break. Got 10 laps to go. You're in fourth position. They break so early. Car on your left. Keep to the right. Excuse me. Clear on the left. Car on your left. Keep to the right. Clear on the left. Left side. Do the AI have varying different degrees of difficulty, or is this just? I don't. I honestly, Alex, I don't know. Default. Whatever the fuck default is. <laughs> Everything is set to default. Is this my first race ever on? The next car's the leader. I racing. Is it on like a numerical scale? Right side. Clear on the right. 
Well, we're good at that corner, evidently. Although I, I, keep, I, I seemingly have a habit of looking at chat as I'm approaching that corner. A spread makes sense. So you have like faster and slower cars to kind of replicate a real life race. It will be faster and slower guys, considering it's a spec series. It's not a multi-class race. You've got the fastest lap. You're back in the lead. This is now basically a practice session. <laughs> Don't cunt. Can you up AI between races? In a like this is like a five track five rounds championship, I think. Or is these single races, yeah that's fair. I just wanted to get some experience basically. Yeah, I'm sure you can. This fucking corner, I always think it's shallower than it is, it's not. And that's a much tighter one than I expected to. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Still learning, still learning. Too fast. All right. Oh my god! Broke far too late. I thought I'll try and push the braking zone. Bad decision. Uh, tab was to get the delta, wasn't it? I can't. As soon as I'm thinking about doing other things. Where are you? There you are. I'd love to drive a track that I say I'm gonna have to spend like fucking forty quid. I'd love to drive a track that I like a, an F1 track that I know in a car that has genuine aero. Like to drive a GT3 car or something. Turning too soon. Less forgiving is true. I feel like I'd, I'd, I'd just driving standards-wise be better in something that has actual aero that I can lean on. I don't know. Yeah, Seb, see, Seb said that the the Formula Ford would be way harder. I need to not change that into second in there. Yeah, the, I, the whole idea of coming onto iRacing though for me is to like drive something that isn't 
a formula car. That was my main want. I was really looking forward to driving Forza on the Xbox, but it's just so shit. Forza was really bad. coming up on me. Oh, it's because it hasn't registered that I'm in first yet. You're pulling away from the car behind. The gap is 2.3 seconds. Falls are on the wheel. I just had no feel whatsoever. Maybe I was in the wrong car or with the wrong settings or... Forza with the pad is always fun. It's just with the controller I've never... You are the leader, nice and smooth. Two eyes, two eyes, two eyes. Don't, don't go in a fucking pit, shit tip. Christ. Forza settings, like by default, were horrendous for the wheel. Nailed it, ain't wrong. That's only fucking halfway through the cut race. Definitely doesn't need to be 12 laps long, this. <laughs> the car in P4, just set the fastest lap, 53.509. The game said box for more talent, yeah. Time for a driver swap. Don't try and carry too much speed through here this time, Chase. There we go. I don't know whether third or second would be better around here. Not that. 
That wasn't great. Give me a PB. You've got the fastest lap. That's the fastest lap? I could have thought I was fifth a one fifty. I thought they for some reason I thought they Oh, I was looking at my last lap time, not my best lap time. Too busy looking at the MFD. Or OSD, would you call us? MFD and F1. This track would be really fun, I think, in a faster car with some arrow on it. I uh, know, screen's at the back of my desk. Uh, I could pull the big boy forwards, but there is a keyboard in the way, and my whiteboard. There isn't really any room in front of my... I don't, that's the thing, I, I, oh god, I don't have the setup for this at the moment. The ultimate dream, if I can get to the point of guaranteeing being able to make content like this and still earn enough, is to have this sort of setup behind me. So what I'd like, what I'd like to have is my three monitor set up here for the FIFA stuff and then to have the rig set up like that behind me with like a wide screen there with a second PC. That's the dream. But moolah and wages. What wheels and pedals do I have? Uh, it's the Fanatec CSL Elite bundle with the F1 wheel. I do have the club sport as well, but I'm not. I wasn't that much of a fan of that. It might have just been because I tried it on the wrong game, didn't get on with it. I, probably, I could probably try that wheel with this, and I'd probably enjoy it more. Don't even think about it. Yeah, I don't have a Fanatec sponsorship, I just bought Fanatec stuff. <laughs> there is an exclamation mark wheel command, I think. There you go. definitely a better line. Made a conscious effort there to try and use the width of the trap. Two laps to go. Two more, let's go. Let's go, all right mate. I love these Aussie. Oh, Tez, turn. Wee! Just as Alex says, you're definitely improving. <laughs> Keep it up. Wee. Could the camera be bigger? Well, what are we saying about things like audio levels and graphical overlays and position of camera from a viewing perspective? What at the moment would make this a better viewing? Uh, 
experience for you guys. Yeah, the mic, the mic is miles away. What I'd like to do is get a lapel mic. That would be, that would probably make for better content on all games, to be fair, rather than just racing ones where I'm using the rig. It's just an Elgato Wave 3 mic. It's perfectly suitable for what I use, for what I do. Real nice work. This is the white flag rat. Hey, it's on a boom. It's just. Boom doesn't. I mean, that's. that's it's significantly closer to me there. If that makes any difference, any noticeable difference. Chess, oh, you've done it again. Yeah. Less echoey, but you'll probably hear the. Not that I don't suppose it's not like I'm changing gear loads. It's not a massive click, to be fair. Yeah, I'm not, my content isn't the most professionally made, so I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to have sensational quality face cam or sensational quality audio. I'm not the guy for that. I'm like the, the casual guy that has casual stuff, that does casual things that you kind of chill out and watch. Be average at gaming. <laughs> There's a reason my first YouTube channel I created was called Bang Average. I won my first iRacing race. You won. All right. All right. I won. Fucking take that, mate. Fucking suck it. I'm so fucking good at iRacing. Move over, Jimmy Broadbin. Could be in a fucking Praga. Get me in a Bilstein 3 Series. Fucking let's go. What happens after a race? <laughs> I just, I, I didn't know if I had to just go around to the pits. <laughs> Yay! Right, well. One down. Silent Death, thank you for the follow, mate. Appreciate it, dude. Time remaining, 167 hours. What? Do I just quit? Or does that nullify the result? Does everyone else have to finish first? Yeah, you just quit. Okay, sweet. Flawless victory for Chriswood 15. Why is why is it Chriswood 15? What's that all about? Look at me go. I could try the Formula Ford. Oh yeah, no, in uh 
in an online race, I definitely pull over somewhere different than that. All right, let's try the Formula Ford then. Right, I'm just gonna have a quick toilet break whilst that loads, and then right, I'll do some donuts in that instead. Be a bit. I'll make the camera bigger too. What this bit? <laughs> what? Hmm. Culture left foot. Thank you for the raid of seventeen, my dude. Appreciate that, man. Hope stream went well, mate. How big do you want that? Just a little bit bigger. Ooh ah, uh, just a little bit. Ooh. A little bit more. Yeah, um. Dale recommended Crew Chief and uh, Trading Paints, actually. And something else. Was it Crew Chief? 
Crew Chief Trading Paints and Race Labs. Yeah. Considering this is the first time I've ever played the game, quite happy to just crack on as is. Come on in, let's practice. Bloody wires everywhere. No. Cold tires, cold tires, just remember cold tires. Cold tires. Yeah, it's definitely more lively than the Mazda, but so far it's manageable. Forgot where the first quarter was. I was going to up the AI, wasn't I? I forgot about that. Hello. Can I have some space, please? No ABS. This is what I'm, I'd be like on the F1 game. Just locking up everywhere. Is this flat? No. Nearly. I did it again. I was. Where's the fucking meter boards? Are there meter boards? Yeah, car feels good. Right, where the fuck do I break for turn one then? Where, give me a meter board, anything, something to go off. I guess the things on the left are the meter boards, aren't they? That one, two, I was looking for like a 50, 150, 150. It's just like one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, cheers then. <laughs> Holy moly. Threw it in there too much, too eagerly. Yeah, the car stops on the left was fucking me, pal. Oh no. Hello, mate. Woo wee. No, shouldn't have dropped the extra gear. Jimmy Ward bent ahead. Mm. Come on in, Jim. What you got?
definitely nowhere near a racing line here, but I'm not in a wall, he was going to say. So it's a step up. Maybe don't change the gear whilst going uphill like that, shares over a crest, but... Fucking, I ate that corner. Come on in, let's call it. How many laps is it? It's just a 12 minute race. Uh, yeah, it'll be Sunday stream, Daniel, when we... Um, it'll be Sunday stream when we f finish the transfer window on FC. I'm offline Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because we've got family up and it's Easter. And then I'll be online Saturday for uh, Creator Series and then Sunday. I don't suppose I can change the AI mid-fucking weekend, can I? But yes. I'm going to crash a couple of times and bring it back into contention anyway, aren't I? So... Cold tyres! Fucking hell. Can we make a can we just give tire blankets to every formula ever? That'd be lovely, thanks. No, fuck you. I'm closer to their pace in this one. Cause I'm fucking shite. <laughs> like Suzuka turn one isn't it like double apex on the grass don't do that on the grass you fucking knobhead you cut the course you've got to slow down and give up that time maybe it just shouldn't bother qualifying because I might, I might just skip straight to the race to be fair because the AI is so low, I'm probably going to put it on pole anyway. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to bother qualifying. Let's just go straight to the race. Where's me fucking mouse? Straight to the race, and then immediately die. Starting ninth, even though I didn't put put a lap in. All right. Green oh, flag, lol. Flag. I definitely jumped the start there. Fuck me. Wasn't ready for that. Just as well, because I fucking understood all the way up there. Why do I sit forward so much? Chase, you're such a weirdo. They're going to break here. Yes. Car on your left. Stay on the right. Clear on the left. Where 
we breaking, lads? Later than that, evidently. Just lock up central for me through there, isn't it? to drop to second there but where's oh they're slow over the crest Shouldn't have changed. Don't squeeze me, you asshole. Fuck you. No, wheel on the grass, round we go. Fucking bummels. Hello, can I come back on the r on track, please? Thanks. Fuck it. Burrito! Thank you, mate. Cool. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, I think I'm out. Your car is too much damage. We've got to fix it. <laughs> I need a wee boss. All the damage is repairable. Uh, feel a bit like Alex Albon there. It'll buff out. So thank you for the 25 months in a row, Burrito. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, fucking Tommy. What? Oh, I was going to say, I haven't got a fucking... Just fucking quit. I crashed. I died. Uh, I kind of want to, like... I kind of want to buy Silverstone, to be honest. I also kind of want to drive the Porsche. Oh, yeah, I need to buy it. Fuck, Fuck you. Right, talk to me. What's a... A car that you think I would get on with? It is an expensive game. Yeah, I'm aware of this. <laughs> I'd like to buy Silverstone, not Legacy Silverstone. I'd like to buy uh, Silverstone. I'd like to buy the F1 tracks, basically. But, it, yeah, like you say, it's probably worth getting out of rookies first. Uh, so that'll be online, right? Multiplayer official. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. Uh, 
rookies. How how do what do? Tell me where to go. I know what I'm doing. Oh, that says fucking rookie there, right? Rookie. MX5 starts at four o'clock. That doesn't start for ages. Because Formula V, no. Oh, I don't want to do a fucking. I don't want to do ovals. I'm. I'm not about oval. Uh, let's do sports car for a minute. Really? Oval's good? I have, a, I have a feeling that... I'm just going to be fucking wank. Toyota Camry. Oval is fun. Oval's a blast. All right. Uh, I, don't, I don't suppose there's going to be that much of a, of a difference, is there, in... Um, Car thingy. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sure there's a. Uh, owned content. There you go. When does that start? 10 minutes. Carburetor Cup is unofficial. 15 maps fixed, unranked. Do I, do I want ranked or unranked stuff? Or could I just join some hosted stuff? And build up my safety rating, etc. I want ranked so I'm trying to get out of rookies. I'll try and get out of rookies. The Formula, the Formula V was... Fucking shite. That's class D though. No, it's not. That's not a rookie. D select rookie. Oh, eligible already limits me to rookie. So I'm eligible for eligible for a, a class D anyway. Match all tags. Match all tags. There you go. I mean, I do the. I do this one. I did like the Mazda. I wasn't very good at the Mazda. So Okayama. I presume I could, it's just I just practice until then, right? Register for the race. Which one is it? So I want to register. Oh, for start time, four o'clock. That one. Yeah? Register. There was less spinning in the Mazda. <laughs> the one that says racing green. <laughs> Vamos. Let's go bump off people. Oh, this was the track I did in the Mazda as well, wasn't it? So, there you go. Yeah, now I get to kill some actual players. Or get killed by... Ow, 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 stuck my toe. It's Redmond. That's the corner that kept fucking me. Redmond and Hobbs. What, not, really not very good at Redmond and Hobbs. Thank you for the follow, Colas Fari Aron. Welcome to the channel, mate. I 
I see. If if I didn't have a job or oh my god, it's foggy AF. If I didn't have a job or a child, I could do nothing but just sit and fucking do nothing but this forever. Hey Aaron, how are you, mate? Uh, no FM today, Wookie. I'm enjoying this far too much. Ready? Let's go practice. How long will I be in rookies for? Do you think? Like, what's the caliber of? What's the caliber of? Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What's the caliber of uh, opponent? Can oh no, no, I'm doing it! No, no, no! <laughs> Don't mind me, just reversing across a live race track. It's not a problem. Ha! Ah, karma. Go on, pal. Three, you go. Clear on the right. At least these cars have got brake lights, so I can tell when someone else is fucking stopping. Expecting him to to break quite so early. Sorry. Left side. Clear on the left. Sorry. He broke way early. Okay, I can't anticipate that. Welcome. This is why I'm in rookies. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. I feel bad. Oh yeah, this corner. Always oh, this bloody corner. Fuck you, Redmond. It annoys me that my username has 15 after it. Can I change that at all, or am I just stuck being Chris Wood 15 for the rest of my iRacing life? I'm stuck. All right, sweet. You got to feel for Francisco Jose Gutierrez, too. He's got a name that unique, and he's like. Adding an initial, yeah, that's fair. At least the fog's going. The fog's lifting. Oh yeah, true. Alternate account, maybe. Francisco Jose Martinez. Two. Uh, I was trying to read chat. Too much, too fast. I wasn't sure if I could carry that much speed through there. Right, so if I were to change my change my username on iRacing to Chesnoy Gaming, if I wrote to them, I probably could. No, 
No, don't do that, Chess. The downshift kills me every time that. Yeah, no, I should have stayed in third. <laughs> oh, the Delta improved. <laughs> oh, dab the brakes. Gets the nose in a little bit better, doesn't it? It's a fun track, this. I'm not very good at it, but it's a fun track. Hello, friend. Oh, my fucking heart. Jesus wept. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, I was on the racing line. Um, will my car be fixed, or do I need to request a new car? You can't park there, mate. It was... that was fucking stupid. It should be fixed. Vamos! Here we go. Let's try again. Now cold tires again, Chess. It didn't. It didn't say whether it was qualifying or not, did it? Fucking cold tires, you can. I hate cold tires. Holy moly. Clear, car right. Stay on the left. Where in the fuck Clear. did he come from? My god. Bad head off, but seeing chairs against humans for the first time is too hard to walk away from. <laughs> right side. Clear. No, 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 no.
I think the guy in front did the same thing just later in the corner. Oh, yeah, it was a real person that crashed into me, not AI. Next lap is the lap. Right, sir? Next lap is the lap. <laughs> you mean you can't begin to tell me how excited you are to watch me fail miserably? Every lap is the lap. Is it though? Not for me. Wee! I'm so glad I'm the only one in here sp spinning. Flying chat, look at that delta, we're flying. I what is to see I was to say what is the safety rating to begin with? When it says I got a purple sector, is that just a personal best for me or is that purple for the lobby? For me. Oh, that's a shame. I'm currently 26th. Oh my god, now 19th! <laughs> Flying! No, you fucking. I hate that corner. Turn earlier, okay. Am I turning too late and too hard? Probably. I do like the master.
Oof. That was close. Cheeky downshift. Just hooked the car around the corner. I'm 26th again, for Christ's sake. Some of these rookies are fucking quick. <laughs> I'm not. But at least I didn't crash. Even earlier still. Fairy snuff. Much earlier. Hooky. I imagine some of the rookies in this session will be like people with some seconds accounts, right? All oh, right, you don't. No, they won't all be rookies either. Okay, first. I thought it was specifically only for rookies. Is third better for that? Ah, grass. Oh, the race will mostly be rookies. Okay, first. Yeah, I imagine for those that know where the racing line is, this is absolutely painful. Oh my lord! Look at me go! Anyone who thinks Seb was a race engineer? No, we purposefully we purposefully turned off racing line. I need to get used to racing without a racing line. Give my abs a workout with this fucking forward leaning. Oh, I broke way too soon there. I felt like I did anyway. Uh, wide. I want this PB Tom. P29 to P24. Oh, flying. No, not flying, not flying, not flying. Crash, crash. Uh, 10. <laughs> uh, this is real, people. When is the race? Oh, literally now. Yeah, I am I am horrendous for turning the wheel too much. It's just understeer central, isn't it? What would the what would that be twenty six out of? It's at least forty two, because I can see the forty second guy at the bottom. Those of you in the know, where would you put my eye racing? safety rating before I've done a race? Where do you expect my safety rating to be? Where would you categorise me at this stage?
Well, it better go up. I hope it goes up. Also, out of curiosity, what is everyone else's uh, eye racing? Safety rating. I presume it's like an ELO, Seb, right? Race. Oh god. I rating is ELO. Oh, there's an I rating and a safety rating. They're different, are they? What's your I so your safety rating starts at twelve fifty and your ELO starts at your safety rating what so safety rating starts at twelve fifty and your I rating starts at I'll go from 0 to 5 in an I rating. Okay, Fez. Oh, it's an 8 minute qualifying session. Sweet. Right, so now in this, in this session, in this lobby, will be... People that are... In theory, of a similar ra similar rating to me, maybe not skill level, but rating. So everything, every oh, cold tires, just everything. Oh, what are you doing there? Cool. You've got wheel damage. Oh, I know I got fucking wheel damage. That's what. That's basically what. Happened earlier, but I was the other guy. It wasn't my fault. Alex is happy. As long as you're satisfied, Alex. It's all I care for. Fucking cold tires. I hear another car. Hello. I'll read that in a second. Craig, thank you for the brand new sub, mate. Appreciate it, dude. Tell me for the crippling eye racing addiction. Appreciate it. I could, I could so, so, so easily get addicted to this. It's a three minute practice session, is that it? Really? I had fucking two crashes and it was a three minute practice session. Fuck my life. You've been following for 10 years. Oh, a member on iRacing for 10 years, sorry. Oh, I know it's addictive. I am absolutely the character and personality of person to want to do nothing but crave improving my my eye rating and my skill rating right let's warm these bad boys up shall we ha <laughs> consider them warm fuck me i didn't do this in practice as in open practice. This is amazing. Uh, there probably is an overlay for tire temps, but I don't have one installed. 
Thanks for following Blackpin. Welcome to the channel, mate. And Slags. Slags 12. Hello. Lay on the throttle there. Understeer. F1 is so much more physically intensive than this. That's why I can't do it on F1. And I do 100% fucking race distance on F1 as well. This is the sort of thing that I could spend a lot of time doing, but it's a case of whether enough people want to watch it. And obviously when I'm doing this, I'm not re-monetizing the content into YouTube stuff either. This is purely a stream thing, which is going to minimize the amount of time I can spend doing it. I turned way too soon for that. It's hard not to gain time when you're shit fucking slow, though, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know how to take that corner at all. You did not take that curve either. Broke far too much for that. Back of the grid is going to be better content, that's fair. Ow, fucking turn, you slag. This could be shit slow though. All right, this chicken flag. I don't even know what the lap was. What was the lap? A 149.5? I could just stop now, can't I?
Not legal? Lol, if I can keep my race clean. Is it just, track limits just so, uh, there is no like, you just, it's cut and thrust, basically. It's black and white for track limits. I'm taking all my clothes off, this is far too exciting to fuck my life. Oh, God. Prediction P5. How many people are in the race? How big's the grid? Twelve. There's twelve of us. I mean, if I did a valid lap, I'd have been top six, maybe. Top seven. We start in P11. Come on, the boys. I had a P4 in me. I reckon there was a 48... Mm, maybe a low 48. Expect carnage. Ex yeah, no, carnage expected, don't worry. Oh, holy moly. The estimated SOF is 1,354. 1354. Out there. Head down, stay sharp. Yeah, cold tires. <laughs> cold tires. Pretend you're starting from the back in Creator Series. Avoid the chaos. You mean just pretend you're starting in Creator Series then? Because I'm never not at the back. down in the gear, in the revs. <laughs> Fucking... Okay, cool. Avoid the chaos, he says. Chaos avoided. All I've got to do is catch up. Oh, my God! Go left. Go left. My guy was fucking airborne. Jeez Louise. I've no idea what position I'm in. You're in fifth. There you go. Fifth. So there's a podium right there, if I can do it.
second is eight seconds down the road, so I'm not getting that. Yeah, these guys are going to be quicker than me. I'll take a top five if I can get it, though. Guy behind me is only 0.8 seconds, though. Top six. Top six would be top half of the lobby. I'd definitely take that. You still want to have a little scrappy do? I'm more than happy to take advantage. Is a Burnley striker making moves? He plays for Forest now. Come on, I'll keep up. <laughs> oh, gone deep. You're all right. You're all right. My guy's got a run on me. It's two. No, cunt! I hate this corner so much. Tears. Oh, mate, so sad. Yeah, I know I've got to be careful with the rejoins. 14 more and I get disqualified. The car behind is closing on you. The gap is 4.2 seconds. Sag. Your 
gaining on the car in front. The gap is 3.9 seconds. The car in P1 just set the fastest lap, 46.64. Two point seven. That was your fastest lap of the session. Uh, 47 would have put me third or fourth in the grid, yeah. Oh no, 48 too, sorry. Optimals are 47. This is the part of the circuit I really suck at. You've got two laps to go. The leader just did a 47.778. Car one is up the front. I gain to within. I gain to about two seconds, and then in the last sector, I just lose all my time. Hello, car coming out the pits. How are you? Is he a back marker? Oh, cunt! This fucking corner! Oh, I hate my life. Well, I guess I'm coming seventh then. The gap is two point seven seconds. You're gaining on the car in front. The gap is three point seven seconds.
Deploy car ahead. Car stopped ahead. Hello. See the one I was chasing? You know. Clear. You've got wheel damage. I've got wheel damage. Sweet, sick, nice one. Looks like your car is so. You'll need to tow back to pit lane. Press and hold the reset button. No, I want to finish the race. White flag. One more left to go. Car on your left. Hello. Fuck. P7 in a broken car. There's the flag. It's over. Yeah, that rever I just I didn't even see him on the inside. He just came out of nowhere. It's like, "Nah, there's the yellow car." Eleventh to seventh. <laughs> Woo! I can quit now, right? How do I know what my rating did after that. I don't know if they're every 30 minutes. Uh, there's no, every hour, there's another one in half an hour. Street stock. This one. Uh, okay. Not sure if I was quick enough. <laughs> this is going to be an experience, huh?
I might be tempted to withdraw. Now, fuck it, you know, content, isn't it? Why not? Go on then. So the, the fact that this is 250, oh no, it's because I haven't done a... So my SR is 250 and my I rating doesn't exist, right? Or is that my I rating? My SR, yeah, my I rating's 2.5. My SR doesn't exist here. Three minute practice. Vamos. What in the fuck am I doing with my life? Car stop down low. Car outside. Outside, clear. You got the black flag. You didn't exit the pit safely. You have to drive through the pit without stopping. What? I don't know where the pits are! Where are the pits? These the pits. Hello. The pit box is early. Be ready. You got the black flag. You cut that corner. Where's the pits? Oh. Fourteen point seven two nine. Outside. Still there. Hold your line. Ah. They're showing us the black flag. You cut that corner. Car three. Just set the fastest lap. Fourteen. Get me out there. Six, seven, two. Where's the pit? Pop a wheelie. Way! I wasn't the only one to pop a wheelie. Is that, how am I supposed to know what one's turn one? They're all fucking round. Car two, just set the fastest lap. 14.663, clear. Showing us the black flag. How? The the oh, safely. fuck me. You have to drive through the pits without stopping. Where are the pits? Here? Hello, pit lane. See anything? Oh, good. Do a donut, right? <laughs> Greasy. Mate, this is chaos. What in the fuck even is this? How do you leave the pit safely then? Like, what's the difference? Was that safe? Green, green, green. Okay, here comes your first time black. I'm good. It's all good. It's fine. Got wheel of course I've got fucking wheel damage. Hit the wall. <sighs> Wait. 14 seconds? Get out of it. Oh, to be fair, I did a 15-9. I thought I was looking at my practice time. This is a fucking rookie one and all. Line up on the inside. Pit road is closed. 
estimated strength of field is. That's Bob, was this a great one? Keep it clean. The DNF today would hurt our points a lot. You're telling me? Oh, hello. Hey, friend. Looks like I'm driving an Alpine. Yeah, the weight comparison is similar, isn't it? Crazy Steve, thank you for the 23rd month primer, mate. There's no formation up, go full beans. Is there a timer? Anywhere? What do we do? Twenty laps. I mean, it's fifteen seconds a fucking lap, so it's like five minutes, but still. Or really, it's just straight up like. Where are you going? Oh my god, we're off. Well, he's not, but I am. Could be absolute chaos. One to go, next time by. Flop, 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 flop. And I'm gonna be the. Am I the drama? I think it might be me. Get ready, going green. Post car is off, time to do your job. Well, I'm not sure about job, but. Green, green, green. Who needs to practice Brazil for create series when you can do this, eh? Slow car download. Eh. Too much, too much, too much. Oh, what the fucking shit? Can't see a fucking thing in these, can you? Jesus Christ! Oh! Screw you, G Force. What was that about? Just like me. My right arm hurts. I'll tell you that much. Fucking Nora. Slow car download. Yeah, slow car up high as well. Running. Fourteen point seven two nine. <sighs> My right arm is literally dead. No, 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 balls. Ah! Crash. I'm fine. And got a slow down penalty. It's all good. The leader is coming fine. up with you. The not at five. The car behind is closing on you. The gap is two point one seconds. Car inside. Hello. Clear inside. Hallelujah. Car inside. Clear. Fucking Nora. Sorry. 
up the course. You'll have to slow down and give up the time going. Clear high. I've got dirt in my voice. Where's my tear off? Ten to go. This time Ten to go. Halfway, mate. My arm is dead. Hi friend. Inside. The inside. Got I know I've got wheel damage, I ain't a fucking wall. Oh my god, my arms are so fucking painful. I don't know how you guys do this. My ME can't cope. My arm is dead. Be so I'm gonna be ruined for that next MX5 race. I'm done. Dirt oval's not me. I am not a dirt oval guy. I am literally gonna lose my fucking arm. Huh. So my safety rating went to 2.44, but I don't have an I rating yet. That one? Yeah, that one. That one? Practice. Oh, race event interview, sorry. Best lap five. 36 champs points, div 11. Safety rating change down. <laughs> oh, you need to get to D class to get an I rating. Okay, fair enough. So I want this to go up to five, right? To four to get a D class. Fucking Nora. What time is it? Quarter two. All right, let's do another Mazda one. I'm going to go for a quick whiz whilst we load into this. I'll click join first. Oh, technically you have an I rating, it just doesn't show till you get to D. And who knew that D was the end guy? Yeah, let's not. Look at that one. Oh, my fucking arm, I swear to God. It's going gonna, gonna to fall off. I do like the Mazda, though. Right, P break, BRB, and then we do more Mazda ring. And this time, I'm not going to fucking crash. Lol.
Why is it still loading at zero? Validating and launching sim. Hello. If I withdraw, can I join back in again? Just not wording. Why is it doing that? Or try and re-register. Or is it is it not loading because it's trying to assign me to a server? Is that why it's not loading? Close the program and I try it, Resin. Hi, Resin. Hey, champ. Join. Don't sim. Still sat at zero percent. How we doing? I'm thoroughly enjoying iRacing. The master's great fun. The fact that this isn't fucking loading is not. Sag. This was so much fun last time. I did restart the UI. Oh, true, I could check task manager. Doing nothing. Hello, please. Let me rise. Well, it's gone now. So we'll try again. Yeah, I saw the I saw the the um, ship crash and the bridge crash. Fucking mental. All right, load, please. Fafa cool. What do then? How fix? Don't know. Sag.
Virginia International. <coughs> right, let's withdraw from that one. I'll try and join another one. It's gonna be a track that I've never driven before, so that'll be fun. No, see, you're not, you're not loading because I'm not joining that track anymore. Go away. iRacing service? Any iRacing thing in there? This is this is why I play console games. Because it's so much easier to just go, oh I'm in. Local service not found. Uh how what mm hmm services i racing service start worrying out me valuable practice time here. Let's try and join that same one again because at least I know that circuit and I want that. I like that circuit. I don't know anything about fucking Virginia International Raceway. Plez, I beg. Okay, fuck you. Let's do that again. I'll just try to join a different one. So just try it again, but give it, give it time. It's my PC. Sag. Try again, but give it longer. No, I really don't have any patience when it comes to PC stuff. Engo! Ale, vamos! Die! Yalla, yalla! Sad. <laughs> okay. Restricted access. Oh. But it says I'm eligible. It's blue. Uh, iRacing's installation folder. Okay, I've got to find that. Uh, which what's Andy? What folder is Anti G in? I'm 
going to miss the five o'clock fucking race now, aren't I? Tears. For EAC. No, don't, don't have, don't have. Oh, program files. Uh, 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 where are they going? Uh, I don't want to test. Uh, uh, uh. Honestly, consider me noob. Walk me through it. <laughs> C drive, program files. I racing EAC easy anti cheat repair 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 didn't know you were new I am complete noob Ah, oh, open Second folder, second file, this one. Repair service. Finish. Okay, attempt 17. We have seconds to go. Please, what quick? Please, 43 seconds. Register. Continue. It's, it's not going to work again, is it? But. We'll give it a go. Vamos! <laughs> okay. If that doesn't work, I'll need a system restart. Cool. In which case, I'd probably just go offline. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's fair. With only seconds to go, there's not enough time to load into a separate practice, so it just put me straight in the three-minute practice practice, wouldn't it? Yeah. It should be ready momentarily. Join, launch sim, cross your fingers. Cry, all the tears. Ugh. Sad. Oh, hello friends, I'm trying. So you want that, I thought if that's green, then surely you want that to, you want it to be low then. But yeah, that's 2.14 and that's 3.4 and they're both yellow. Or is that, is that just because of people's, oh, it's classes. Okay, cool. So red's rookie, D class. C class, B class, and then A is like, woo. Oh, such. Could do that one. We'll try and join a different one. If it doesn't work, I'll restart the PC and then try and get on that one. It's still just trying to load that one, though. No, I may not join myself. I'm going to have to restart my PC, I know. Tears, tears, all the tears. BRB in two minutes. 